This is Night's Item, Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Right now, police are asking more people to come forward. And 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers was at that coffee shop just hours ago to explain what led up to the employee's arrest and what's next in this case. Tarpon Springs police say a visitor using the coffee shop's restroom found an iPhone underneath the sink actively recording. Very disturbing. I can't imagine the invasion of your pri own privacy. Sarah Hack owns the business next door to We Spy Coffee and More. She says nearby business owners like herself know Spiridon Vulgarakis as spy. The man who police say admitted to placing a phone in the men's coffee shop restroom, recording customers. I didn't expect that at all. Hack says her biggest concern when she heard of the arrest, her young children who have both spent time at the coffee shop. My kids love to go over and see Spy. Um, he would give them treats and we chatted pretty much every single day. Police say the customer who found the cell phone confronted Volgarakis. They say Volgarakis became aggressive and beat up the customer as he was trying to get the phone back. The victim maintained control of the phone and was able to provide that to responding officers. Police say they are confident there are other victims. If any time within the past 30 days you have visited, we spy coffee and more, we'd like you to come forward and talk to us. Now there's a sign on the shop door that says closed after two due to a family emergency. We tried to speak to two people closing up the shop. They said they had no comment and drove off. In Tarpon Springs, Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. Tarpon Springs police say any people who reach out to them about this case will remain anonymous.